Douglas Yascala here at Fabtech, and I'm at the Path Robotics uh, booth here, and I'm uh, hanging out with Andrew. So he is the director of products. Uh, Path has been uh, a longtime uh, partner with Yaskawa, and today Andrew is going to take you through some of the things they're showcasing. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, so today over here, we're displaying our AW3 cell. Um, so AW3 cells are designed for finish welding large objects. Today, what we have here is a utility pole uh, with multi-pass joints, with some widgets along the pole. Um, and right now what we're doing is we're actually doing uh, a simulated weld on a handhold. This is a specific multi-pass joint. Uh, our local scanner, so our uh, sensor hardware is right on the Escala robot. Uh, we have an Abacor Benzel torch. Um, and what we're doing here is just tracing this handhold, kind of simulating a multi-pass weld. And also speak to a, a little bit more about PATH as a whole, like what your what your vision is and, and what do you do with, because uh, you're not just uh, a robot integrator or, uh, you know, yeah. hey, this is some robot automation. Explain what your niche is here, because it's very specific and it's very unique. Yeah, absolutely. So we exist at PATH to advance the future of automation. Um, we want to make industrial robots more intelligent through com computer vision and AI. Um, so. We build our own sensor hardware, but we also have our own software that's operating on the back end and it autonomously programs the entire part. So everything you see here today is entirely generated by uh, our algorithms and AI and no programming. Um, and it's kind of just ready to go out of the box. That's fantastic. All right. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. And then in just a couple minutes, we're gonna jump over to what's that? What's that machine called? AF one. AF one. All right. Well, do you think we can start talking about it a little bit before yeah, we get yeah, fired absolutely. up? Yeah, Great. So today we're really, really excited to launch AF one at the show. Um, AF one is our brand, brand new product. We've been working on it for a couple of years, uh, but the big innovation here is it allows manufacturers to go from cut metal plate to an actually finished welded part. So our robots will autonomously pick up pieces out of unorganized bins, fit them up together, tack weld them, and finish weld them, and finish them off. Um, so we're really excited to show this complete end-to-end -end process uh, that manufacturers can use to really go straight from the laser cutter uh, all the way to finish, uh, finish welded part. Um, so we're live welding here at the show um, all day, every day and actually producing parts that attendees can take away. Um, so we're really excited about that. Uh, let's go around to the yeah. other side, I think. All right, so you guys can see up there is where you've got your camera for doing your bin picking. Yep. And so we've got bin picking into part placement, and then uh, hopefully very soon we will be doing some. Uh, yep, so we're doing fit up here. of the yeah, second piece. We already have one piece on the positioner right now. And to actually do the fit up technology, we had to go beyond vision. Um, and so our, our robots right now actually sense force and have force feedback. And so that's how we're able to get sub millimeter placement of two objects relative to each other. Okay. We couldn't do that with just vision. We had to go further. Um, so really excited about giving our robots the ability to feel this year and adding senses and making them more intelligent. Yeah, that's great. So here we're going to come in and do our pre-scan. So you look at the joint again, make sure we're in the exact right area when we go to place the weld. Actually compute a correction to the weld trajectory and then execute the weld. And same goes for tax. So that's how we can be sub-millimeter high precision with exact placement. And this is actually a 45 degree downhill weld. Um, so a little bit more complex than uh, 
uh, traditional orientations. And they're using the Yaskawa AR2010 for this. Yep, and a Motopause D500 positioner. Ah, okay, excellent. So, two degree of freedom, uh, basically our standard positioner package.